guys, it's Lee, and I thought I would start sharing some of my throw together recipes with you guys. These are just recipes, or they're not really recipes, actually. They're just concoctions I come up with when we have some vegetables and some meat that are, you know, really needing to be used up before they go bad, and I don't want to throw them away. So today I am kind of making up a fajita soup. We have leftover turkey from Thanksgiving. We have three bell peppers that have seen better days. They need to be used by probably today or I'd have to throw them out. So I thought I'd just take you along with me while I make this. So I'm gonna start off, I actually have some sunflower oil, but use whatever you have. I'm going to put that in a pot and add in one kind of small onion that I have roughly diced. I'm just gonna let that cook down a minute and I'll be right back. I actually decided to go ahead and add in two stalks of celery because it's a soup and celery goes really well in soup. All right, that's been cooking for a little while. I'm gonna add in three diced peppers, bell peppers. Two of those were pretty small. I'm gonna let that cook for three or four minutes and then I'll be back. Now I'm gonna be adding in some taco seasoning mix. This one is from Trader Joe's and it's actually enough for two pounds of chicken or ground beef or whatever you make tacos with. But my husband likes things a little on the spicy side so that's why I'm adding the whole thing. How much you add is up to you. I'm also adding in a teaspoon of cumin to give it more of a fajita taste than just a taco seasoning taste. So I'm gonna cook that for about a minute, and then I'm going to add in four cups of chicken broth. Okay, I'm gonna add in the chicken broth. You can use beef broth, vegetable broth, whatever you have on hand. If you can hear something cooking in the background, I've got some ground beef going on another burner. I'm just pre-cooking that, and I'm gonna stick it in the freezer. Now I'm going to be adding in, this is just a leftover turkey from Thanksgiving. So I'm just gonna add all of that in as well. Bring it up to a boil and let it simmer for about 15 minutes. Then check the seasonings and if you're happy with it, you're done. All right, and here is what it looks like. My husband already has helped himself. That's why if there looks like there's a lot less in the bowl, that's why. He said it is super spicy, which he likes. So if you're not a fan of super spicy, then you might wanna back down on that taco seasoning. Add in enough for one pound of ground beef or turkey or chicken or whatever, and then add more if you think it needs it. So here it is, all plated up. I just wanted to show you what it looks like in the bowl. I love coming up with these kinds of ideas when I find stuff in the fridge, like those peppers that had to go and the turkey. It's so much better than throwing this stuff away and wasting food. Let me know in the comment section below what some of your concoctions are for leftovers and food that's on the verge. I think I'm gonna keep doing these videos. Whenever I am throwing together a recipe, I'm gonna pull out the camera. If nothing else, it will help me remember at a later date what I did. And also maybe it'll inspire you to come up with new recipes for your family. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, consider hitting that little bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. You can also find me over on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and Facebook at Lee's Home 05. Thanks for watching. Bye.